Hello everyone and welcome to, yeah, something else. So today I wanted to show you this game. Some commented about it and asked if I could play it. And I said that I probably wouldn't because I wouldn't like have anything to say if I recorded it, but I think I'm wrong. I don't think I will do more than like one, but this game has more depths depth than I thought it had and yeah it's a lot more interesting so what you do is you're one of these balls or circles that eats these things and you can also eat other players so if I were bigger than this person here I could eat it and I'm not so I can't eat but I could eat that person up there and that would make me bigger but I might not want to do it, because if I split like this, people will be able to eat me a lot easier. And you want to be as big as possible, of course. You get more points, and so on. So it's, you can think, is it worth to eat this person? Or should I just keep going without it? And of course, we're almost always bigger people on the server than you. Like this person here, he's split in four, or six or five or whatever. So it's quite easy to eat up like that. And uh, now I'm going to try to reform. Usually I tr try, that part will pro probably be eaten. Yeah, it did. I try to have a l uh, one part when I split, so I don't get more than one part, because usually you get eaten them by a lot smaller things, and yeah, you see there, he got split up into a lot of small parts, and the orange thing just ate a lot of them up, and then he got eaten himself, kind of, yeah, hopefully you can understand, and the larger you are, the slower you are. So one thing I usually do in the beginning is split up in two, so I cover more area if I go to the side like this, and I also move it faster. I will be eaten a lot easier, but you usually it's usually save more time like this than if you wouldn't do it. And the green things here are viruses that split you up but if you're small like me you can hide inside them and like be safe and you can also shoot so I could like shoot at this person to slow it down to make it easier for me to eat it or maybe make it bigger because for fun the main thing of shooting is that you can shoot on viruses. So I can shoot on the virus here and it will grow and sh get another virus here. And you do that so you can like destroy larger things. And I usually play this game when I'm looking at what it's called. Things what the teacher tells you about Whatever, yeah, something. There's also different game modes. Free-for-all, team, uh, experimental, and party. I play free-for-all and experimental when I play. So experimental, you have green viruses, I think, and also like red ones. And the red ones are different. You can't eat them up. And and what? And I think they spit out material sometimes, or something like that. I don't know quite how, how they work. But... I see a lot of people spinning around them. He can't eat me. And I feel unsafe here, so let's try and just go around them. And get, an, get some eating here. Holy crap! 
that was big. I almost got eaten there, just because I didn't see the player. He's probably one of the ones on the leaderboard. He's kind of moving a lot. I don't know- Whoa! He's big! Let's try and eat this. I missed. So if you miss, you're vulnerable. So what you want to do is split and eat things so you grow to an equal or greater size when you, uh, than you were before you split. So you don't lose anything by splitting, you just gain. But it's kind of hard because you can only swallow things that's smaller than you and when you split you're half your original size. So, you usually want to attack or split to swallow two or three different balls. Otherwise, it's usually not worth it. But it could be. It's a risk reward situation. And it's going real bad for me. right now. But I don't know what else to say. I think it's a quite interesting game and it, if you haven't played it, play it. It's a lot more fun than I thought it would be. And it's really good to do when you're like listening to audiobooks or something like that. And what I mean by audiobooks, I mean like audiobooks from school if you're dyslectic like me. If you're listening to like how do these components work? Or whatever. But a pretty dry text and that's a really good thing. If you find someone to eat that's split out up like that, that's really good for you. But I think I will stop here with my just rambling and hopefully I might find some music or something to this because otherwise it's just my voice. So see you later or something.